Are you recording? No. Uh-huh. Tell me when you're ready. I'm ready. Are you sure? I'm sure. Oh, fine, go. <laughs> Pain in my ass. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Free Ranch Art Farm. Uh, so today, we're going to do uh, some mite stuff with the Pink Hive. Uh, so if you remember back, I think it was mid-July, I did a mite count, and there was high mite count levels with the Pink Hive. I kind of assumed all of them were fairly bad, so we treated everybody. Uh, what I didn't capture on film later is after that uh, course of uh, oxalic acid treatments, I retested and did a mite count on Pink Hive, and they actually had more mites. Uh, so I went ahead and did mite counts on everybody else. They were all looking good. So I put in Apovar strips into the Pink Hive uh, to treat them, and today is the day to take those out. So we're going to remove the Apovar strips and do another mite check and see if that helped. Uh, so that's what we're planning on doing today. So we're going to take the ape of our strips out and do another mic count. So stand by for that. Oh, also, special guest back by popular demand, my camera assistant person, beautiful. Where is she? Where is she? Where'd she go? No, she's behind the camera. Turn it around. Turn yourself around. Look. Oh, no. Ah, no, we're all upside down. I think you're upside down now. How did you do that? You're anyway, so dumb. Lovely Lulu is back. Stop the recording. No. Do what you're told. Shh. I didn't do oh, now I can't. <laughs> All we're really doing right now is just going to pull these strips out. And then we're going to um, do a light count afterwards. Put these over here. All right, so. I thought maybe those mites got burned by the chemical. And the all right, considering there's only a few here and a few here, I might end up combining this down into just one hive today, or one box, rather. Because um, I just see kind of a cluster here and a cluster on about three or four frames. So I'm, we might do that. But before we go there, so I'm going to move this into a little... I'm going to actually set this down in front Oh my here. goodness, of course you are. Okay, there's it. Okay. There's all the space around me, but I need to put this exactly where you're standing. Yep. Uh -huh. Alright, so I'm going to get the kit ready here. There we go. Um, Alright, so we've got powdered sugar, a little container for the bees, a of water, and a measuring cup. When last we left, young Thomas. So, you're recording? Yes. Alright, a couple things I want to show you on this frame. First of all, we did find the queen. She's actually one of our marked queens that we got. Uh, so she's still moving around. She just, this time of year, they, they slow down quite a bit how much they're laying. Um, but the other thing is one of these girls over here has deformed wing virus. And that's a sign of too many mites. Now I can't find her. I did it. We just put her butt in? Nope. Not, maybe this, maybe that one? That has her butt in there now? No, well, her butt's sticking well, out. Well, you know what I meant. Butt yeah. sticking out. Um... But there's only like one or two. I'm not super concerned, but as many... No, she has good wings. That smells like bread. Yeah. That's so cool? weird. Um, all right, well, she's probably on the other side now. But that was a sign that we did have way too many, way too many mites, and they were starting to... Here we go, right here. See what her wings look like? They're kind of not full wings. So she's got a little deformed wing virus going on, and that is from mites. One of the reasons we hate them. All right, but since the queen is on this frame, I can't. I'm not going to pull bees from there. I'm going to pull some from this next frame over, and I'm going to show you. We need to get a half a cup of bees, and this is a one cup measure. Half a cup is about 300 bees. So, one of the neat things you can do to get bees into the cup, you just start it up here, and you just drag it down. And you just sort of fall into the cup. It's kind of backwards. You would think it would be the other way around. Like start from the bottom and scoop up. I think. All right, now they're getting mad because they're bopping me. Yep. Well, bopping the camera. All right. Cup. Pour them in there. All right, sorry about that. You got to move quick. All right, so we've got our sample of bees. They're grumpy now, so... Get some a little smoke in here. If smoke. We're gonna get a couple of scoops of um, powdered sugar in here. Oh, 
What's the powdered sugar do? The powdered sugar is kind of what dislodges the mites from the backs of the beans. But you have to really just be terrible to them. So you have to really be vigorous about it for a good 20, 30 seconds. We don't have to record, but... Well, they should know. You notice I'm keeping my hand over the top to try and not let any mites fall out. Oh, good point. All right. We'll call that good enough. Everybody's pretty well coated. We're going to let that sit for about a minute or so. So next thing to do is we've let these girls sit for a couple of minutes and I'm going to turn this upside down and shake into this bucket and wow we still have a ton of mites is anything coming because I've been watching all this white stuff fly out from yep. the side over here see all those black specks yep those are all mites oh, sorry what was it you're trying to do? There's a whole bunch flying out from the side, I was saying, to get a better... Yeah, the mites will fall to the... Okay. See, the mites are falling to the bottom. Holy cow. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of big chunks coming out from the side, too. All right. So, now what we do afterwards is we'll just dump these girls back in and let their sisters clean them off. Get off. Are you trying to sting me, sweetie? Get off. Oh my goodness. Right. She's just mad now. Yeah, I'll just set you right. It is so weird how it looks like they get poured out, you know. Alright, now we're gonna take some water and we're gonna squirt it all over the powdered sugar and that makes it clear. And we can see that mites have overrun this hive still. Wow. Look at them all. We should have at most three mites right now. So we've done a full round of oxalic acid treatments, six weeks of mm -hmm. apivar strips, and I supplemented with oxalic acid a couple of times during the apivar strips. And we still have, I can't even count that high, like 20 plus, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, oh my God, like 30 mites in here. Like this hive. Uh, may be doomed. Aww. I'm gonna go ahead and do more oxalic acid treatments on them, but considering the time of year we're in, um, the viral load that might be there from the mites. Yeah. This hive is definitely in trouble. So. All right, you're filming? She's Maybe. filming. So, that mite count uh, was almost devastating. Probably 30 mites. Um, when That's like a 30% infestation rate, or no, 10% infestation rate, because there should be about 300 bees in that mite check. So, uh, that's really high numbers. I'm gonna treat more with oxalic acid. Um, I should have gotten it on video. My wife reminded me and I was like, ah, we're already too late. Um, but there was just a ton of mites on the bottom of the, of the hive, the bottom board there. Um, so it seems like every time I do mite treatments and then a subsequent mite check, the numbers are higher. So we are losing this battle. Um, I feel like the pink swarm may not survive the winter, just overrun with mites. Um, Sometimes you lose the battle, I guess, but we're gonna keep trying to fight it. I'm gonna keep doing oxalic acid treatments. Uh, the, um, the brood cycle has slowed down significantly, so maybe we can get them under control. We did see a little bit of uh, deformed wing virus, which isn't good. Um, always feels like you're way low when you're down there, but anyway. Uh, so that's the, that's what's going on with Pink, pink Swarm. 
Uh, all the other colonies were doing great with my counts, so I'm, I feel pretty good about that. Um, we'll see. I'm going to keep treating, and hopefully we can have a you know have an impact and keep them alive for the winter. Uh, one other thing we did when we were in there is we combined it down to one one box uh, because they were really only doing about five frames on the bottom and five frames on top. So we just took the ten best frames and put them in there. So they've got one box, uh, and then we'll keep treating with oxalic acid and see how that goes. So thanks for tuning in, guys, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Oh, so? you look cute. You look adorable. Mm. You look beautiful. Hide right. behind. Hide behind the mask. <laughs> Are you grumpy? But you look adorable. You're cute. She's You're super stupid. cute. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Be good. Be well. Be safe. Shut up. Be happy. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be pretty and beautiful. Not kissing you. Still not kissing you. Stop it. <laughs> be well. Be good. Be safe. Be happy. Do you have any bees you want to say? Be quiet. Be mindful of the bees. We need them. Love you. Bye. Bye.